Science, science, science. You're probably wondering, why is Miss A so excited to learn about science? Well, this week, friends, we're going to go ahead and read a nonfiction text, and we're going to go ahead and make an investigation about growing bean sprouts. Let's go ahead and get ready. All right, I hope you're doing well. I I was so excited to see your beautiful faces on Wednesday and Friday, and um, I can't wait for next week. All right, let's talk about our investigating, um, our investigation about bean sprouts in science text. These are our objectives. You are going to go ahead and read a science text and ask and answer questions when reading independently using Epic and Google Class. You are going to go ahead and type the dates and observations of your bean plant. I like to call them bean babies because they will be your little bean babies. You can even name them if you want. Um, you're going to be watching them and taking care of them. So you'll see what I mean in, a, in just a second. You're going to go ahead and plan and carry out an investigation, okay, about your bean sprouts and their environment. And of course, don't forget to use your five senses, okay, when you will be um, living through this investigation. You're going to use your eyes. What do you notice? What do you see? You can maybe even rattle your bottles, right? Rattle your bottles and see, do they sound the same? You can smell them. I don't want you to taste them because we don't, um, well, I'll tell you later why we shouldn't taste them. And this is an investigation, so we should probably never do that. And you can touch them too. Right, so this week you're gonna go ahead and read Plant Life Cycles on Epic um, by Julie K. Lundgren. And while you read this text and carry out this investigation, I want to remind you to use a scientific method. So number one, we're gonna go ahead and ask questions. Can my bean babies, right? Can my beans grow without soil? Because this experiment will be without soil. You're gonna do your research. We're gonna make greenhouses, basically water bottles, and we are going to go ahead and see and experiment, right, what we notice. And that's why we're, write, we're writing our findings in our observation sheet in Google Class. We're gonna make predictions. We're gonna hypothesize. Do you believe that your babies will grow or not, right? And I'm gonna show you the results in just a second because I had to do my research myself before I even taught you this lesson, but I really want you to live through this. So I, I think it's gonna be super fun. And you're gonna test your hypothesis and then we'll just continue on, okay? And we're gonna analyze our data and that will be after the fact because we're gonna do this about three times. So just as a happy reminder of bean plant life cycle, this is something that you've learned probably since kindergarten, right? You know, that first the bean is called a legume and it, it's a fruit and then it becomes a little seed then the seed sprouts it becomes an adult plant and then a flower here are the parts of a bean we have the epicotyl right right here which is the embryo shoot we have the cotyledon which is the food we call storage food and that's inside the bean we have the seed coat if you remember when you soak it in water, you'll be able to see the shell of the bean, right? And we have the radical, which is basically like a little um, baby foot. We call it like a little baby foot that comes out. And you'll continue to learn about seeds, right? And this is maybe something that is new to you or maybe you know all about the life cycle of the bean. Um, let's review a couple of words that we might encounter during our reading. Here we have a bowl, okay, decay, life cycle, nutrients, reproduce, roots, shoot, and stem. Let's go ahead and pause and think. Are any of these words tricky for you? Or we can use our skills, our reading skills, and we can use context clues to learn about our vocabulary words of the week. Here we have the word decay. This is to break down and rot. Do you know what rot is? It's when food goes bad, right? So that means it's probably bad, it's probably stinky, it's probably um, dying, right? 
So we'll know what that means with just with the definition of this vocabulary word. Here we have more words. We have stem, it begins to grow, and we have leaves. All right, what are the things that we need for this project? We need a water bottle. We need sun. We need beans. Sorry about that. And we need water. So all you need is a regular water bottle like this. Okay, it, um, I would recommend like a really thin water bottle, not a Gatorade bottle, because that's probably too thick, of too thick of a plastic. So you probably want to get a thin water bottle. And then beans. I had a lot of you ask me like, what, what kind of beans, Miss A? What kind of beans? Any kind of beans. It doesn't really matter. You can get lentils, which is, you know, it looks like this. Like they're like little tiny beans, which are these. You can get lima beans, which are really large beans. You can get black beans, brown beans, and you don't need a lot, okay? You need maybe a couple. I would say like this is fine, about five or six, that's fine. Um, you can get a handful. It's really up to you, okay? First, I want you to ask your parents to make holes under your bottle. Please don't make them on your own. I really don't want any accidents. Ask your parents, I'm sure they'll do it. And I'll make sure to send a message, okay, on the app um, to remind them to make holes under your bottle. Next, you're gonna soak your bean babies in water for about two hours. Let them soak the water, let them take a bath, let them relax, okay, for two hours. Make sure that you're keeping um, the time, you're keeping a timer to see that they stay there for two hours. After, you're gonna take out your beans and you're gonna go ahead and put them inside your bottle. This is gonna be their little greenhouse, okay? We're gonna call it a little greenhouse and we're gonna store them up in there and remember the holes, there must be holes out here so that they can breathe, okay? And before you say goodnight to them, you're gonna pour a little bit of water just so that they can soak in that water, that hydration, and they can um, just relax and just, you'll see what happens. And you're gonna wrap your bottle with a thin towel, it can be a, a bathroom towel, a hand towel, anything, near a window that receives sun. So I'm gonna put this bottle and wrap it with a towel and I'm gonna put it near light. What happens on day two? Let's make a prediction. Do you think that um, it will sprout? Do you think that nothing will happen? Maybe there won't be any growth? Stop and think. Day two, are you ready? Whoa, what do you notice? You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna type your observations of your personal bean babies, these are mine, okay, in Google Class. This is day two, look at that, look at all those sprouts already, incredible. But I wanna see yours. If you wanna take pictures of your bean babies, that would be super cool, I would love to see that. Next, on day two, you're gonna go ahead and leave your bean babies inside. Don't take them out. You're gonna put water in the morning. And when you um, put water in the morning, you're gonna go ahead and rinse out, rinse out all the um, dirty water from the, the night before. And you're gonna just basically give them a bath, right? You're gonna give them a bath. And you're gonna repeat this step for four days. Incredible. After you've done this for four days, you're going to notice something super cool and super awesome that you're probably not going to be able to believe your eyes. Are you ready for the results after four days? Look at that. This is called germination, friends. Okay, and basically we germinated these seeds into bean sprouts. They sprouted without soil. So how is this process different than soil? We're going to go ahead and discuss that on our meetings on Wednesday and Friday. And what were some patterns that you noticed? Okay, we're going to go ahead and write all of this down in Google Class. Okay, this is what day four looks like. It's completely sprouted. And we're going to talk about vocabulary words. And I want you to go ahead and think about, hmm, what is this called? You notice about your beans. We're going to go ahead and go back to our book and discuss the vocabulary words that you noticed. Okay, when you 
are ready to release your bean babies, you're going to ask an adult to cut the bottle and you're going to go ahead and log your daily observations and you're going to be able to know the life cycle of a bean. Many people use um, bean sprouts for cooking. It's a very common thing. And they even use it for cooking dishes. Um, and, and, or they just grow them in their garden, right? Now that I'm done, I want to remind you that your work will be in Google Classroom. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what that looks like. We're here, and it says here, Bean Life Cycle Integrated Science and Reading. You'll have everything here. You're going to have your book, plan cycle, plant life cycles, and the stages of the bean plant observation sheet. All right, my little friends, my little scientists, I'll see you very soon, and we'll talk about our science observations on Wednesday and Friday. See you soon.